Thank you for tuning in to Your Thought for Today. With me, Bro Steph. Today is September 18th, 2023. Scripture we're going to be reading today is Psalm 55, verses 16 through 18. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me, evening and morning, and at noon I will pray and cry aloud. He shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many against me. Here's our thought for today. God doesn't prescribe when or how often we should connect with him, but a standing appointment is a great place to start. There are parts of the day when we're better able to focus, times when we're most alert, most relaxed, or less likely to be distracted, when we're consistent in meeting with him and our devotions become a top priority, true transformation takes place. And I have some additional thoughts. Here's a scripture I'd like to share with you. Psalm 143, verse 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Whenever you sit down to interact with the Lord, remind yourself that it's not merely some theoretical visit, but rather time spent in the very presence of God. Ask the Lord to meet with you in a personal and unmistakable way. Use your own words, or the following prayer might help. Father, thank you for your word and the reassurance it gives that you care about me and the details of my life. Help me come away from our time together certain that I've heard from you. And let today, interaction, change me, even in some small way, to be more like your son. Amen. And remember, God delights in our fellowship. And while a routine time for prayer may be helpful, the one who never sleeps hears his children at any hour or time that they pray. And I'd like to add this. Don't make meeting with God a to-do item on your to-do list. Our relationship with the Lord is far more important than completing a to-do list. That's why what I have done is used prayer like a discussion with God. Every moment of the day, As I do things, as I wash dishes, or as I hose down the backyard or water the plants, I find myself talking with the Lord, sharing ideas and thoughts, and at times asking him for his direction in my life. The path I'm on or the decision I have to make, is it the right one? And so I incorporate into my daily life, talking with the Lord. By doing this, I don't feel like I'm just going through a mindless effort, but that it's more thoughtful because the discussion I have with God is based on what's really happening in my life at the moment. Maybe you can adapt this into your life, and I hope it encourages you after all. That's what your thought for today is all about, encouraging you. And then when you share these thoughts with others, maybe we help to encourage others. This is Bro Steph. I'll see you again tomorrow. That's going to be Tuesday. And I'd like to remind you of this. Keep looking up. Jesus 
is returning. Bye for now.